Walk back and turn. My modeling school is having its first big fashion show. What the frick are those black shoes? And I just hope that I can pull it off. Go, go. Give me another look. Give me another. Put on heels. Please, 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 please. No. All right, your little modeling school with 12-year-olds is nothing, all right, kiddo? He went and attacked everything that matters to me. Eddie, get the Oh, wait. Anastasia should have had my back, but she didn't. I'm not gonna, like, associate myself around somebody like that. So you're fake! I'm not you're fake! fake. My name is Anna Hazanova, and I'm 22 years old. Hey, I'm Victoria. I'm the photographer. Nice to meet you. Modeling is my life. That's what I eat, sleep, breathe. I've done everything from catalogs to runway shows to Fashion Week in New York. Yeah, that's nice. Stop. Me and my family were from the Ukraine. We moved here when I was nine years old. I live in a small two-bedroom apartment with my sister, my mom, my dad, my cat, and my grandma sleeps on a couch in the living room. We're all just stuffed in there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a lot of the times, I tend to be nervous to show my mom my photo shoot. She's very judgmental. What's this? What's that? Why is it done this way? Why not that way? <laughs> but it actually makes me go harder. <laughs> Playing with guys is like you know, a hobby for me. Every single toy you see in this room, a different guy gave it to me. I've never had a boyfriend that I didn't cheat on. Terrace, Roman, Max, Mike. <laughs> They're all like, oh, I really care for you. I just want to be with you. You're just like, uh -huh. hurry up. I have another date. So you're turning and then finish it. Boom. Just like that. OK, so like that, perfect. I'm still a working model, but I've realized that I can't model forever, so I opened up a modeling school. No, только не так. Some of the most famous top models all over the world are Russian, and that's why I thought that opening a school in Brighton Beach would be perfect. Walk back and turn. I invest everything I have into keeping my school running, because I know if it's a success, hopefully one day I can get my parents out of that apartment that we live in. Let's just act like this is the show. Okay? As soon as I turn on the music. Next week, my modeling school is having its first big fashion show. If it goes well, I might have new girls coming in. And with new girls, my business is gonna skyrocket. Good, good. Suck in, 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 suck. I just hope and pray I can pull it off. Drink only water. This is your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Water, H2O all day, every day. Modeling school is just the beginning. After that, I'm planning to have another business, and another business, and another business. This is my butt's on the line, and if my butt's on the line, everybody's butt's is on the line. Remember that. And if you faint, too bad, get up and drink some water. <laughs> Planning the show isn't about just getting the models ready. It's about promoting the hell out of it. <laughs> Renata is a big local celebrity in our community. Hi. How are you? When I first told Renata about my show, she offered to host it. Thank you so much for having me here. I know Anna for a little while. Everybody at the Brighton Beach know each other. Your mama is listening, by the way? She's definitely listening. She's my biggest fan. That's it. Ринаті Рубіновой, а к Ринаті прийшла э, такая очень гламурная подружка, симпатичная такая брюнетка. Нравится ему все же брюнетки. So tell us about your upcoming show. We're expecting about 100 people. It's going to be huge. I like Anna. She's very goal-oriented, very passionate. I remember myself 20 years ago. I was very passionate as well. We wish you all the best today. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Good luck to you. Then. Thank you. Is this my shower right here? Forget about the chaser. Mm! This pickle is better than the shots, man. Even with the show going on, I still made time to go out with the guys. Because you can't work all the time. 
Eddie and Albert promised we're gonna have a really good night out. We're going to party tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have everything we need in Bryan Beach. What people go out to the city for in other places is what? To find beautiful women, to find good company, mm -hmm. to find a lavish place, mm -hmm. and pop bottles. And we have all four of those things right here right in Bryan Beach. Beach. So where the do you think we're going? All right, let's get ripped. Anna, she's a beautiful girl. Actually, I showed a picture of her to my mom, and my mom was like, you need to get with that girl. So who's winning the fight between Anna and Anastasia? I got all my money on Anastasia. You don't got no money, so. In the Russian society, when a woman discusses somebody's finances, it's completely out of the boundaries. <laughs> Believe me, I got more money than you, you fake model. Oh. <laughs> you want to be model. It's never going to happen. Listen, you have done nothing as a model as anything that any agency wants to go for. That's it. All right, have you checked what I've done? You want to go at me? I'll go at you. That's it. You have okay. absolutely no respect at all. I had respect for you till, till this That's second. Cool. You come at me one time, I'm coming Eddie, at you. Eddie, you, you make time. jokes That's every it. second. Once you start your comment, it's it. I'm going to defend myself no matter what. You're a little insecure a little bitch. Absolutely. You're insecure too. That's why we clash. All right? Your little modeling school with 12 year olds is nothing, all right, kiddo? It just struck a nerve. And once that nerve struck, you best believe I'm getting back at that person. I'm not holding back. I don't give up. That's her business, cool, you know? Cool, cool. I'll hit you her with You hit her where, where it hurts. I'll hit her where it hurts, bro. Come like, on, Eddie. My mom taught me, as, as a man, to always stand up for what I believe in. Me and Diana were just in shock. He went straight in for the kill. It was so uncalled for. Listen, can you please ignore that? Yeah, like, don't let it get to you right now, please. I know, because you listen to me. You, you, you hit his button. That's it. That's all it is. He's just trying to find a way to hurt you. I was only joking, and he went and attacked everything that matters to me. It was probably one of the lowest blows I've ever felt in my life. That's a guy. They don't know their He's a limits. guy, yeah. He's gonna, you know what I mean? He's just, he's a guy. Russian guys have a lot of pride. If someone tries to put them down in a way, they get really offended. Eddie. I'm gonna, no, I'm no, gonna, no, no, I'm gonna go talk to Anna, bro. This is gonna be on my conscience the whole night. Like, it yeah. should be because I was tough, because that was weak. I feel like I need to get this. Don't make a fool out of yourself, bro. No, it's not about making a be fool a, out of nobody. Be a gentleman. Bro. Can I have like two seconds? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you space. Are you okay? Yep. Listen, I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you in any way. Eddie, get the listen, out of listen, my listen, face. Listen. No, I want to talk to you about this. It's cool. Just, just hang out. Eddie, Italian. get the. Away. Get, get away. Let me know. Get away. Yeah, I felt like Absolutely. Eddie has crossed the line. Apology not accepted. Bend over. I know, you're so tall. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. You didn't even tell me. Pleasant <laughs> surprise. Russian guys can be really harsh, so after the fight, I had to go and make sure that Anna was okay. I heard Eddie was gonna come here. Eddie's gonna come where? No, he was supposed to. Come to my... Here. Here? Why? Eddie, that ignorant jerk, is the last person I want to see right now. I don't feel that he really did apologize. He, he meant that he just seen me hurt and he felt bad. But I think if it does come down to it, he'll do it again. That's just how he is. So like, he, he doesn't like to be disrespected. He's nice and all, but he doesn't like to get disrespected. That's what I'm saying. You, you hurt his feelings, you just wanted to strike back. I'm the same way as him, you know? I don't respect him. And my respect is not gonna, I'm not gonna gain it back, so. When she mentioned to me that she's still mad at Eddie, the first thing I thought was, you should be even happy he even said I'm sorry to you. Whatever. Don't care. When a Russian guy apologizes, it's a big deal because they honestly and genuinely mean it. Hi. What's up? What's up, what's up? Eddie and I have been friends for 16 years. We've been through so much together. So? So? 
Already? In interrogation time? I'm not interrogating you. I just want to tell you something. If someone says something behind his back, I will let him know. I met up with Anna at her school, and she mentioned that she's so mad at you. Gossip is like the blood that runs in Russian women's veins. So I wasn't surprised the fact that Anna was talking behind my back. It's like she just holds grudges. That's the problem. I don't, I don't, and I'm a nice guy. You know me, I'll forgive and forget. You right apologize. Away. She should be thankful that you did that. That flipped me around. At that point, I was like, wait a minute. I thought I did my part. I apologized. What else did Anna say? What happened? She said that your apology wasn't sincere. What? And that she doesn't respect you. That gets me annoyed. I'm going to text her and see what the she has to say about that. So what are you texting her? I'm texting her, if you keep talking about me, we're going to have problems. I was upset. I'm thinking, like, what else does a guy have to do to prove to a girl that he's sorry? Gossip travels in Brighton Beach faster than the speed of sound. How do they do it? I don't know. Do they get those little cups with the strings? Work? Drama, drama. Do they, like, vibrate it? It's like... <laughs> Sitting there with the nails like this. Yeah. Texting with their, with their tongue. Yeah. Did you hear what Eddie said? Gossip, gossip. That's how every single Russian girl is. So, what do you think about this cake? You love it? Wow. Anna came over to discuss your fashion show. How do you feel today? Not so good. But I can tell something on her mind. I just had a terrible morning. I get a text message from Eddie. He writes to me, oh, if you're talking about me, we're going to have problems. I don't really open up to a lot of people, but there's just something about Renata. You just want to give her a hug. She's really sweet. I can open up to her. He says to me, shut up, you fake model with your garbage school. It's just, just like, spits on everything. This guy, I do not know him very well. But I think at this age, when you talk to men about money, probably this was the most like sensitive subject I didn't for him. Know. You should never, ever tell Russian man that he has no money. Never, ever. You need to stop thinking about it and work on your project. I will. It's going to be great. I sympathize with the younger girls because they're still searching. It's a wonderful age, but it's not easy. Let's pretend that we drink red wine <laughs> to you, my dear, to your success. I'm very happy for you. You guys ready to go? Yeah. For a code, is that okay? As a model, I take my fitness extremely seriously. Look at how well Anne is doing. And I work out on a daily basis. Let's do that 10 times. Boy, oh, you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's trainer is crazy. I don't like the gym anyway. No sound effects. He crunches a day, keeps the trainer away. So Eddie texted me. And he said, if you're talking about me, we're going to have problems. Yeah. I told him what you said in that thing in your studio. He's my best friend. I would never lie to him. So when you what said. What did I say? When you're like, I'm still mad at him. Yeah, he cool. said that I'm talking. That's, That's the thing, because I'm like, she's still mad at you. But the thing is, like, and and I told like, I thought me like, and whatever between me and you is different. It's just between He's me and you. He's my best friend. If, if you're mad at him, I'm going to tell him. Well, he said, we're going to have problems from talking <laughs> Am I talking <laughs> this Yeah, if someone's talking <laughs> you know what that means? Not necessarily the freaking cursing a person out. What it means is, you're still saying things like you're mad at him. That's it. I we're told done. him exactly what you we're told done. me in the studio. Why would I not tell my best friend if you're talking crap about him? Because you told me that me it's just between me and you. Whatever I tell you, if I tell you something, him. You're gonna run and tell him? Yeah, she's still mad. So you're fake. I'm not you're fake. Anything. You're, you're fake. fake. I got real things to worry about. I don't need text messages from him or you or anybody. Real thing. Bottom line is both of you are wrong. Just admit it and be friends. That's it. I tried to be a good friend. I tried to get to know her. I opened up. My guard was down. Listen, you guys can defend him, whatever. Like, I know what happened out there. I just saw her true colors and it wasn't for me. I can't deal with people like that. According to Girl Code, Anastasia should have had my back, but she didn't. She betrayed me. She can join Eddie on the list of people I want nothing to do with. All right, let's go. <sighs> hey, Mika, what's up? You're supposed to be at a salon. Oh, God. Oh, boy. It's the day of the show, and there's so many things to do. But I have to get it done, because everything depends on me. Make them nice and pretty. If it's a success, it means I can get more girls, which means I can get more money, which means the business can grow. 
I need champagne. What's the sweetest? I can't even think that it might not be a success. 